Hello. Hey, y'all. Matt and this is Jen, and we've got tuna. So, MRE time again. We got a whole case of MRE, and you probably have seen our previous MRE videos. If you haven't, please do check them out. But this one sounds kind of sketch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about tuna. I'm, I'm guessing that it's not like a nicely grilled tuna steak in here, but yeah. There's been some weird MREs over the years. Uh, we're going to give this one a whirl. I'm see. a lover of tuna, so this is going to be probably uh, very disappointing to me. I, I don't mind tuna, like even tuna fish, but we kind of exclusively buy the solid white yeah. albacore, like nice tuna, not the kind of weirdly gray chunks. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, just like any other MRE, it's packaged in this nice little bag that's uh, watertight. You could use to store other things. Uh, a lot of thought goes into how these are packaged and made. Uh, there's been a lot of different iterations of them over the years. You know, our first MRE video that we did, we did a lot of history and kind of talking about how MREs are put together and the history of military rations and things like that. So please do check that out. But uh, We're going to get right into this one here. So I see right on top, oh my it's, gosh. it's that pretty is much what we thought. It, it is actually Star Kissed. It is the cutest thing I have ever seen with but, this uh, camo packaging. It is Star Kissed in camo. All right. So Star Kissed Fresh Pack. So it's like our, our regular, like almost like a can of tuna. Or you can get these little tuna packs, but it, it is really neat that this one is... And it's lemon pepper, isn't is, it? Uh, yeah, it's lemon pepper flavor, so... Maybe that will mask the kind of like not so great tuna flavor of it, but I, I really do appreciate that it's camo. <laughs> That's really That was cute. nice for Star Yes. Let's see what else we got before we dive into tuna. We've got barbecue corn nuggets, probably also known as corn nuts, uh, but uh, I do like a corn nut. We've got a uh, nice little accessory kit. Which has got some gum in red, so probably cinnamon. We've got beverage base cranberry grape. Oh, I want that Sounds one. Sounds good. Yeah. We've got a moist towelette for all of your moist toweletting you want to do. And a big old packet of salt, salt, just in case you've been sweating balls. And if this is your first couple of MREs uh, during a trip to the field, you might need a little toilet paper. If it's beyond MRE number three or four, you're not going to need this. Okay, and applesauce cake. Oh, that's very nice. We got a little packet of cheese here, which is uh, not the jalapeno uh -huh. cheese that you could trade for someone's firstborn child in the field, but this is the regular cheese spread, and it's still, it's pretty good. So I'm guessing if there's cheese spread, there's probably some crackers or something. Oh, weirdness. Tortillas. Tortillas. Yeah, so you can have a nice... Uh, Tortilla tuna wrap, I guess, with some cheese spread on oh. it. That sounds special. Yeah. And tropical punch. Oh, yeah. And fat-free mayonnaise. So, if you want to mayonnaise up your tuna. Oh, no. Yeah. So, when you go to a restaurant, uh, you're often offered a tasty, refreshing beverage. Uh, so, let's start off with a beverage. So, we have... Beverage based cranberry grape, which appears to be sugar free because it's in this little tiny pack. But then you have beverage based powder tropical punch, which is in this huge pack, which I'm guessing yeah. has quite a bit of sugar in it. It does. It has wow. 19 grams of added sugar. Ingredient number one sugar. sugar. So, of course, in an MRE, uh, the vast majority of stuff that is in here is going to be carbs and protein. Uh, really just to give like whoever's in the field uh, a lot of energy to run, jump, work, fight, things like that. So, you know, if you're all burnt out, uh, you might need uh, some nice uh, tropical punch that's full of sugar. Yeah. And breathe in some of that uh, tropical punch dust there. I'm sure that's good for you. It's an interesting color, and even though I'm stirring it, it's staying kind of chunky. chunky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is chunky tropical punch. It just doesn't say that on the wrapper. Oh. Oh yeah, it's definitely still chunky. <laughs> Let's give this a whirl. 
Woo! It smells like punch. Did you get a sip of Yeah, I got, a, I got a chunk. It's not bad. Um, you know, we've talked about it before. When you're in the field, usually your source of water is this big tank on a trailer. If you're lucky, you'll have, like, bottles of water, but it's really hard to have bottles of water for hundreds of people, so it might very well be a big trailer that has a tank on it, and you fill up your canteen or your camelback or whatever, and that's your source of water, and it just tastes awful. So, as bad as Tropical Chunk Punch is, it's definitely better than the water out of the tank. Yeah. As always, we have a military-themed rating scheme where... If something is absolutely awesome, delicious, that's going to be high speed. If something is just kind of middle of the road, edible, which is going to be the vast majority of military rations, we're going to say that's good to go. And if it's just awful, terrible, that's uh, that's going to be a foo bar. And again, you're going to have to look that one up on your own. <laughs> but uh, chunky tropical punch, I'm going to say it, it's good it's to good go. It's good to go. It's not yeah. bad. Uh, someday maybe you'll experience the water out of the tank, and and you might be overjoyed with tropical punch but yeah so we've had our delicious beverage mm. why not an appetizer with some lovely barbecue corn nuggets uh, i'm guessing these are essentially corn nuts Ooh. yeah they smell, they smell very barbecuey let's see here oh they look very familiar. They're they're a little bit smaller, I would say, than a regular corn nut. But they look pretty good. I, yeah. I, I like a corn nut. Let's give them a whirl. Let's take a try. Yeah. Oh, these are good. These are really good. I would say they're less crunchy sometimes. A, a corn nut, like actual corn nut bran, can be a little too crunchy where you think like you might break a tooth. Mm-hmm. Um, these are actually a little bit more reminiscent of a tooth. They're about like tooth size. These are really good. They're very smoky. They're good. These were not in MREs <laughs> when I was in the service. Because I would have tore up some barbecue corn. <laughs> corn nuggets. Corn nuggets. Really good. Mm -hmm. I would give these a high speed They all definitely day. are high speed. It's main course time. <laughs> Lemon pepper tuna yeah. creation. So... I, I don't, you know, the word creation here, it just doesn't work for me. I don't like the idea that we've created something with tuna. But uh, I think I've had one of these, like, Starkist packs before, and it, it's really not that bad. It's interesting that this MRE, it doesn't have the flameless ration heater because there's nothing in it that's hot. And it's, it also doesn't have, like, a hot beverage. A lot of times you'll get cocoa or coffee, coffee or something like that in there. It doesn't have anything like that. So... Really, this is almost kind of a, like, lunchy one. Yeah. And I know that that, they tried to make some of the menus kind of lunch style out of the cases. So I think that's probably where this came from, is it's not something that's going to be heated like a dinner or have, like, items in it that you could kind of have for breakfast if you got uh, a random one. But you could still end up with some tuna creations for breakfast. Let that sink in. Oh, it's, uh, it's, oh, it's interesting. Woo! That smells like a free clank. Whoa. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even look. I can't oh, my look. God. It's definitely tuna. You know, tuna out of a can might look like this. I don't know, but it, it's an odd color for sure. So, yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting color. Oh, there's some nice uh, nice juice. <gasps> you got it on me. Oh, no. You got tuna on you. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, now I smell the, the pepper. I definitely don't smell the lemon. Oh, ooh. I do not taste any lemon. It tastes like canned tuna that somebody shook pepper on. Yeah. Not you know. It's not terrible. It's not terrible, but it's close. <laughs> yeah. It is probably the worst MRE out of the new case that we have just got. Uh, that I have experienced. It's it's not great. It is edible and would keep you fed in the field, which is the idea of an memory. I guess we're going to have to go full hog, though. No! Yeah, yeah it's going to happen. Fat-free mayonnaise. So they give you a tropical punch with, like, 19 grams of sugar in it, but you get fat-free mayonnaise. So 
I'm not sure like who's coming up with these nutrition ideas. Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Woo! I'm, I'm not gonna. Be that able to do it. is horrifying. It is like the thinnest, <laughs> shittiest mayonnaise. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. It's, oh my god! Oh. I love tuna so much. If you follow me on the gram, like you know, I eat tuna every single day of my life. Ugh. This. This. Yeah, is but not I make her like this beautiful like tarragon. <laughs> <laughs> solid white albacore tuna that has uh, golden raisins and things in it. This is like dog food. I don't know. Oh, let's break out a tortilla here. Maybe that'll... Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, uh, where were they going with this one? This is a very like, strange are, like, variety of random. things. Yeah, so the tortillas, it, it is pretty amazing that they were able to put tortillas in there because these are still, like, pliable. This, this stays on a shelf for three to five years, and... It actually smells pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, what? Oh, what's happening? No, it's just like a train wreck that you just can't stop watching. <laughs> it just looks so terrible. Yeah. The, oh, the mayonnaise smells awful. Hopefully, we're not gonna throw up. We. Oui. I'm not yeah, trying you're, that. You're trying it. You're getting the full <laughs> experience. All right. <laughs> oh gross! <laughs> That's even worse. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't know if I've ever spit out an MRE before. I think it's, the lemon, pepper, tuna was okay-ish. The mayonnaise is horrifying. It just tastes terrible. I don't think that it's bad. I think that it's just bad. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, the tortilla was nice though. So, tuna, not a hit. That was awful. Wow. Wow. Uh, but uh, let's uh, wet our whistles with a little beverage base cranberry grape. Yeah, rinse that tuna on out. Yeah. Smells good. Smells like grape mm. Kool Aid. <sighs> Tastes like grape Kool Aid. That's pretty darn good. That uh, it may just be that the mayonnaise oh, tuna really mixture was so horrifying. Uh, but this is really nice. Like I would be really happy to get this. It, it is definitely better than uh, uh, Chunky Tropical Punch. Uh, so uh, grape Kool-Aid or Cran Grape Beverage Base, uh, you're, you're high speed. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with the cheese spread. You know, I, I just kind of assumed that you were supposed to put uh, Disaster Tuna on a tortilla. But I guess you could put some cheese spread on there. Let's give that a whirl. Oh, it's very yellow. Very, very, very Ooh, the oil. yellow, yeah. I forgot that you're supposed to kind of like squish it around a little bit and kind of get it back to its original consistency. But, you know, we're just going to experience this in all of its splendor. Mmm. Little cheese tortilla. So after you've vomited out your tuna, you could still have something. This is probably some protein and calories. All right, we have our uh, field uh, crap quesadilla here. Uh, yay. It already smells better than it tuna. Does. But so does a dog's asshole. Mmm. I don't think it's bad at all. It's not bad. It's edible. It's, it's like cheese Whiz. Mm-hmm. The tortillas is, again, I, I think that's awesome that... They're able to put tortillas. Some MREs have a, like a slice of bread in it. Mm -hmm. Pretty darn good. It's soft. It's I mean it's it's dry, but it's yeah. soft and it's edible. I think that's that's pretty good. I don't know if they did it on purpose, but the the cheese spread is exceptionally salty. And I know you get like the huge packet of salt that should try to replenish your electrolytes if you're sweating in the field. Uh, but uh, yeah, it is just like shockingly salty. But it's really not bad, and so there would actually be something edible in this other than the tuna with horrifying Yeah, I mayonnaise. could definitely eat that. Uh, yeah, this is this is not bad at all. Uh, it's uh, it's a strong good to go, uh, but compared to the tuna, it's high it's speed high all speed. day. Yeah, <laughs> moving on. All right, so we're really we were looking forward to this when we opened it. Applesauce cake mm. TFF. What did we figure out TFF means? I don't remember. We gotta figure out what TFF means. We looked it up last time. Ooh, smells very apple-y. Trans fat free? 
Yeah. Trans oh, trans fat free. That's it. Good, good call. Yeah. I mean, after some of the things in here, though, are you are you worried? Are you about worried about trans, trans fat? fat? <laughs> You're freaking getting shot at in the field. Like, oh, trans fat. <laughs> Applesauce cake. Mm. It's pretty darn good. It's got a little bit of moisture to it. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard to package and make things shelf stable with when they have a lot of moisture because they'll spoil really easily, but they did a good job. Mm -hmm. um, little pieces of apple in there. I don't know how they did that. Yeah, it's 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 really nice. It's like a, almost like a little like muffin top, but tastes kind of apple-y. Yeah. And I, I, I like it. It's uh, 270 calories, 21 grams of sugar. So again, lots of energy packed into here. Uh, if you didn't finish uh, your your meal and you just stuffed this in your pocket, this would be a nice little pick-me-up or afternoon snack, especially after you puked your guts out from the tuna. So! That is definitely high speed. This was uh, definitely high speed. Well, that's pretty much it. I think overall, everything but awful tuna was pretty decent, yeah. at, at least a good to go. Uh, it's the chunky tropical punch was kind of weird, but uh, yeah. again, it's it's better than the the water buffalo water. Um, yeah, tuna, not so great. You're pretty bad. We got more MREs to come. They will all be better than this <laughs> than one, I'm willing to bet. But uh, if you've enjoyed our latest MRE video, please do nail that like button. And if you'd like to see more, do nail that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, y'all.